Y, and today I'd like to show you how to incorporate PTFE tubing into any standard liquid or gas circuit. PTFE possesses several qualities, making it an ideal material for demanding environments. It's chemically inert and resistant to acids, bases, and all common solvents. However, its lubricity makes it difficult to incorporate PTFE tubing into circuits. With this challenge in mind, I would like to show you how to use our PTFE tubing adapter ferrule system to connect PTFE tubing into any standard circuit using a standard compression fitting. The system is made up of four components. The first component is a standard stainless steel instrumentation quality compression fitting. There are a variety of brands such as Swagelock, Bylock, and Parker, and any of these can be used in our system. The second component is our custom polyimid graphite ferrule, which is specifically designed to work with these instrumentation fittings. The third component of the system is the stainless steel insert, designed to match the inside diameter of the PTFE tubing and used to compress the ferrule onto the tubing to create a secure connection. Finally, the fourth component is the PTFE tubing. Today I'm working with 13 gauge PTFE tubing, which requires a 1 8 inch ferrule. If I were working with smaller tubing, I would need to use a smaller ferrule, but I'll show you how to determine the ferrule size more in detail later. Once you've determined the appropriate sizes of the parts you'll be working with, the process for assembling the system is the same for all sizes and fairly simple. First, slip the compression nut onto the PTFE tubing. Then, insert the PTFE tube into the ferrule. The tubing should protrude past the tapered end of the ferrule by about an eighth of an inch or more. Then, place the stainless steel insert into the PTFE tubing, making sure the insert remains at least a sixteenth of an inch from the end of the PTFE tubing. You should also be able to see the insert past the flat side of the ferrule, extending no less than an eighth of an inch. Then, hand tighten the compression nut to the fitting. Using the correct opened end wrench, fully tighten the nut, and your connection is complete. As you can see, this system addresses the challenge of incorporating lubricious PTFE tubing into a standard circuit. Now I want to show you how to select the correct ferrule for your application on our website. Let's continue with our example where a 13 gauge light wall PTFE tube needs to be incorporated into a circuit. On this product page, locate the tubing gauge size column on the chart. In this case, it is a 13 gauge in the light wall section. Now we need to make sure the ferrule size for this gauge will work for our compression fitting. The ferrule size for this PTFE tubing is 1 8 of an inch, so we need to use a 1 8 inch compression fitting. The part number we would use for this example is FPSPT-13. If I was working with a different gauge size, I would need to determine the appropriate ferrule size and accompanying compression fitting. For example, to incorporate 20 gauge thin wall PTFE tubing, I would need to use a 1 16th inch compression fitting. Therefore, the part number of the ferrule I would need would be FPTWTT-20. watching our video on incorporating PTFE tubing into a standard circuit. I hope it was informative and helpful in your particular application. There are links to this product and related products below, and you're always welcome to contact our office if you have further questions. For more information 